Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be discussing an incredibly interesting theory that Fortnite is intentionally ruining their game. And I know that sounds like something a crazy person would say, but trust me, the reasoning behind this theory is actually kinda genius. This video was inspired by a post on the Fortnite competitive subreddit that got a ton of attention on the first day of Season X. It was made by a user named Javi Verdez, and the title of the post is, The Mech Like the Sword is a Toxic Marketing Strategy. And here's what that post actually says. Epic, a lot of us aren't stupid and we know exactly what you're doing. You put in a broken, OP, controversial weapon, item, or change at the start of each new season to get social media talking about the game. It draws attention on Twitter and Twitch, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite is trending everywhere, and you reap the rewards. Then you nerf the new thing you added slightly, then maybe nerf it some more, then you vault it. Then you get that sweet, sweet praise for being supportive, and people start commenting, they heard us, wow, this dev team is so responsive. Rinse, repeat, recycle, but never revert. It's cloak and dagger, pulling the wool over our eyes, BS, sleight of hand marketing strategy that many of us see right through. Now, as I mentioned, this post was very well received by the Fortnite competitive subreddit, getting over 5,000 upvotes within about a day or so. So clearly, a lot of people agree with what Javi Verdez is saying here. And after thinking long and hard about this, as well as doing some research on top of that, I'm starting to think that he may actually have a very valid point here, as crazy as that may sound. So, without further ado, let's break this down a little further. So, the first time I read that post, I reacted the same way that some of you guys are probably reacting in your head right now. Something along the lines of, that's interesting, I guess, but I don't believe that a company would ever intentionally do some kind of change that they know would negatively impact their game. But then, I sat down and really thought about it. For the first four seasons of Fortnite, I really can't recall any super controversial weapons, items, or changes being added into the game. I mean, maybe I missed or just flat out forgot something, but earlier today, I quickly glanced through all the weapons slash items added between Season 1 and Season 4, and the worst thing I could find was maybe the jetpack? I mean, sure, there were definitely certain weapons that were a little too strong, and there were still a decent amount of glitches in the game, and not everything was super optimized yet, especially for controller players. But back then, it felt like they never really added things that caused a bunch of crazy backlash from the Fortnite community. But for some reason, that all seemed to change right around the beginning of Season 5. I'll never forget staying up until 4am to read the patch notes from the beginning of that season, and seeing that they removed the ability to use double shotguns, which so many people loved back then. And relating it back to the initial post from the competitive Fortnite subreddit, I also specifically remember how much buzz this created in the community. Was most of it negative? Absolutely. But I guess as the saying goes, any publicity is good publicity at the end of the day. But as I'm sure you guys know if you've played Fortnite for the last few seasons, that really was only the beginning of these super controversial changes. And an interesting thing that you may notice as we briefly go over some of the other ones, is that as the Reddit post mentioned, almost all of them occurred at the very beginning of a new season. Season 6 was actually pretty solid as a whole, so nothing too bad to complain about there. But then, at the very beginning of Season 7, as I'm sure we all remember, planes were added into the game. They were ridiculously overpowered, most of the community hated them, but it sure got people talking about the new season. 
And if that wasn't bad enough, about a week later, the Infinity Sword was added into the game, which honestly may have been the most controversial item ever, especially after it basically ruined one of the early major Fortnite LAN tournaments. Then, in Season 8, although there wasn't anything too crazy right away, within the first update or two, siphon settings were randomly removed from public matches after they'd been added to the game a few weeks earlier, and that sure made a ton of people very, very angry. Moving on to Season 9, I'm sure we all remember the pump shotgun just totally out of the blue being vaulted at the very beginning of the season. That sure got people talking, albeit in an overwhelmingly negative way. And then, that brings us to the present with Fortnite Season X, which clearly continued this trend with the addition of the Brute Vehicle into the game. At the time I'm making this video, if you simply google the term Fortnite Season X, the first two results for me are articles titled Players Absolutely Hate Fortnite's New Mech, and then Fortnite Players Aren't Happy with Season 10 Mech and Challenges. And when I see all these different articles focusing specifically on the Brute and how much people hate it, I imagine an interesting alternate scenario. What if Fortnite simply didn't add the Brood into the game at the beginning of the season? Just imagine everything else in the patch was exactly the same except for that. I'm not gonna lie, there really wouldn't have been all that much to talk about, especially from the perspective of very casual Fortnite players. For the more serious players, much like myself, we know the impact that things like the vaulting of shadow bombs and all the mobility is going to have on the game, and I guess the new points of interest are also pretty cool, but I highly doubt there would be any full-length articles written by these popular mainstream publications about shadow bombs or glider redeploy being vaulted. Just think about it in terms of those Fortnite streamer reaction channels. What do you guys think would get more views? Ninja reacts to crazy new super overpowered robot with crazy rage? Or ninja reacts to shadow bombs being vaulted? I sure know what I'd be more likely to click on, I can tell you that. So for the longest time, I thought that whenever the Fortnite developers added some horrible weapon slash item into the game or made a really bad balancing change, it was mostly just an oversight on their part. I mean, they add content to the game so frequently, there's bound to be at least a few bad choices that negatively impact some things. However, we're at the point now where it just seems like there's no possible way that they don't understand how hated some of the things they plan on adding are going to be. I could see making the argument that they just don't understand their player base if they had added horrible stuff from the very beginning. But like I said earlier, there really wasn't a super terrible thing added in the first 8 to 10 months of Battle Royale mode. I find it hard to believe that they went from that to sitting around a table in a boardroom and coming to the conclusion that a 1,000 health robot that shoots 10 rockets at once and can jump 50 feet in the air is something that would actually be good for the game as a whole. However, what I think is more realistic is that they sat around that same table and said, this 1000 health robot that can shoot 10 rockets and jump 50 feet in the air is probably going to be absolutely hated by top level players, but I think a lot of the lower level players would really like it, and hey, even if nobody likes it, at least it'll get people talking and bring more attention to the brand new season. That same imaginary person would then go on to say, plus, even if they do absolutely despise it, once the hype about it has mostly died down, we'll nerf it, and then we'll create even more publicity, and our fans will thank us for doing that. We've seen it with the plane, we've seen it with the infinity sword, we've seen it with them unvaulting the pump after all the attention that got, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see it again with the brute. In terms of a calculated marketing strategy, this formula really does seem to work. But the real question is, how long can they keep doing it until players have eventually had enough? 
I personally don't think the Brood is as horrible as some people think it is, mainly due to the fact that only two spawn per game. But I've already seen people say they're simply not going to play Fortnite until it's nerfed slash removed. And honestly, I can't really blame them for doing that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are on The Brute so far. Simple as that. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.